What's up guys, it's Cat Dodge Production 72 and welcome to the review of 40558 Clone Troopers Mini Fickle Pack released in January of 2022. So please like this video, um, I would be greatly appreciated. This is a set that somehow managed to take me 7 months, nearly 8, to get my hands on and make a review. This set has been extremely hard to get a hold of, which is pretty annoying. Um, it's a really good set, even though it has like, some slight criticisms. I have a lot of positives for this one. It's one I'm happy it exists. It's something I'm fine the finally doing, but it does again have like one or two negatives, at least in my opinion. But we will get into that over the course of this video. Let's dive right in. So it needs to be done. Let's address the elephant in the room: the clone trooper commander. So many figures that some people have a problem with, um, mostly because, you know, he was in the UCS gunship and of course now he's available in this minifigure pack, or at least has been the last few months. It takes away the fun of having a minifigure that you could only get in certain sets. You know, most UCS set style minifigures do not come in other sets, but again, he is one of the ones that has done that. And um, with this, people have to fear that the Mace Windu would be another set, but in fact, the one that you get in the Republic Fighter tank, which also came out this year, is somehow better than the one that they released with the um, gunship. I mean, if I'm being honest, sure, the gunship, this many figures would only fit there, it fit better here than it was anything else, in, in any other set. Personally, the, like everyone says, the Conjure Pilot. Would have been the ideal choice in the other set. This minifigure has a unique torso and a unique um, helmet print, which only comes on this minifigure. Um, I don't think that's the same one they used in 2013. There was a previous version of this character and label back then. If we remove his helmet, you will find the angry cone head. Well, not the angry cone head, it's kind of like the angry kind of stern tomorrow Morrison like face because it's based off him. Helmet is a pretty standard one helmet. You don't get any in the set but you do have your accessory hole in the side. Coming around back, standard torso, he does have the yellow dots right there and he has a standard blaster. And for my favourite minifigure in this set, and I think everyone is in agreement on this one, it is the Clone Trooper minifigure, just a standard phase one, episode two style Clone Trooper. And I love this minifigure. Now, one purpose of this set is you should be able to fill it up your UCS gunship, which comes to the question, why the hell do you get so many of these? It just makes so little sense to me why that's that way. They are really good minifigures, plain white torso, but there's all kind of candle pieces on the end of the blasters, which is quite cool. Just show you guys, again, sat at the back. You have the light print and all the minifigures, it's all the clones now have a white hip, white M um, hip piece. You take off his helmet, which is the same as other minifigure, just without the yellow print. That's basically what he is, same figure without the print. Um, and he does have that same head because of course all of the clone troopers do. You get two of them in this set, which is quite good, you know, even numbers, which is something I personally like a lot in clone building. Let's move on to this set. So going in order of what the instructions tell you to build. We have this gun rack here, which actually I should maybe fix a little bit. Which is quite cool. Now, sure, it's just the same gun jet we get the Firewall first set, as well as many other sets now. There's the long blast off the candle piece, which is quite cool. So if you really wanted your um you know, the two plain phase one clone troopers to be a click of a different type of blaster, you have that ability. It is quite a simple stand, you know. There's not too much special to it, it's got some red in the bottom. It does have these really nice pieces now. They are not stickers, which is surprising. And um, they also feel things battle pack like sets so will never really have stickers in them. In fact, they very they have very few detail pieces, so it's like the one we're getting here, the fact that it's printed is quite cool. And I really do like it. If you got multiple of these like I did, you would be able I'll get into how many I've got at the end. You would be able to make some pretty cool mocks of these pieces given that they are printed. Again, very simple build, not too much to show. So here we have the main attraction as far as the build goes. It's a pretty cool old command centre. 
We originally saw this back in 2013, nine years ago. I feel very old just saying that. But yeah, it's actually not too bad. It is a decent size, you know. Get a kind of aerial kind of transmitter on the back. You can take it up, open it at the sides, and you get loads more printed panels. Again, not, I'm going to repeat this again. No stickers whatsoever on the set. It's not a single sticker is included. That also goes for the Hoff one, which I've also reviewed. Again, this cool little thing here. Yeah. So I say you ought to take the commander cone. Just get here, right? You could have them either standing up in the command center. And I don't, and you can fold up the sides. Now, I don't think it's entirely accurate, but if you really wanted to, you could take them. Make up set. It's a bit stiff because I it's many figures brand new. Like I've had this less than a week. Um you know, you could probably sit them down there and it could kinda of use some sort of hover tank if you really wanted to do it that way. You can really only fit one cone in there, you can fit two, but you are kinda of pushing the limit by attempting to fit two in it, so just thought I'd make you aware of that. And you know, if you really want to talk about battle scenes, which is kinda of what the blaster rack kind of makes that a bit silly, but to put blaster rack there, I would like to show how you could set up these smaller sets. And you can have one cone kind of here shooting off, and you know, take the other one, you can do the same thing. And if, like me, you have multiple of this set, you can probably have just as much fun with this set. Now, look at that. I mean, that's quite cool looking right there. I'm actually really happy with that. So, yeah. Let's move on to the instructions. So your instructions, you open it up in the burst basically, you just get three clones on the set number. And you open it up, again, this is one of the more, this, this uh, minifigure pack builds are always quite simple. All these ones, I only own the Star Wars ones, but there you go, you can see the first step of instructions. You know, you get your um, gun rack done and you get a start on the command center. And here is the step going up to step 9 where you have completed the belt. So the box is alright, you know, you get your three minifigures, which every other minifigure pack comes with more, but you know, Star Wars had to get that one disadvantage. You know, your clone commander, your clone trooper, your rack, and all that stuff. And that's what this show there. That's clone in there, funny enough. And you get your kind of episode 2 of kind of art up here. So not too bad. And yes, it does have 66 pieces, which is quite fun. And also here's your bag, it shows up your clones. Now one problem that I have with these is when you open them, it's kinda hard to keep them nice afterwards. It's just the way they open up and it's a bit of a shame. If anybody knows a really good way to open these, I would actually greatly appreciate it. But yeah, really good set. So question remains, is this worth it? In the UK there are um thirteen 49 each, so I mean, not too bad. It is cheaper than buying multiple 504 sets, and it's a good alternative because throughout 2020, the entire 2020, the entire K2020, the only corner clones on the market. It is a very good set, it's just it's hard to get your hands on. It took me seven months, I own two of them because due to budget, that's all I picked up when I saw them. I actually went in the store looking for them. Could not find them initially and then just grab them instantly when I saw them. One cool thing is, um, that I just probably should mention is it's the only set I have that's piece count on there, which I don't know for me is kind of cool personally. I give this set an 8 out of 10 for two reasons. One, the gunship had the yellow cone in it, not that you cut that at the beginning, but you could put the red, one of the red markings, the blue markings. Heck, you could even add in any other ones that are in that series, the green one, the lieutenant. Which would be a nice homage to the corn that originally came with these called command stations. Because, I don't know, I thought that'd be a nice one to fans again, like, go a lot longer. But, I mean, I've been doing my old Star Wars for 14 years at this point. So, yeah, there you go. One other thing that I feel we need to point out here is, you know, the reason, the reason is, is trying to find them, right? They're not available in every single store, which means. Lego will produce less of these compared to the Bible first set. The cool thing is, it's something that isn't the Bible first clones. I have 32 or 34 Bible first clones um, 
No, no, that's not what I can do. Some do what? That's kind of where I draw the line. It's like, cool. Right, I want to move on to the next type of contact tomorrow because I like the variety and different types. Um, and it's good for that. Also, this year we're getting the two twelve troopers in literally a week. Um, they were available in the AKP, you know, of course we got the one eighty seven Legion, which is quite cool, but I don't know. Um, this is a very good set, and I definitely recommend buying it. Just I wish it wasn't the one, you know, Lego Store exclusive. That's that, and the fact that you could put any other coloured cone in here would have been great. But anyway, I've now done it. I've reviewed both of these, which is like one of my goals this year. So what's coming? I know I did not do the Trigger Friday. The next two is I've got a kind of special video coming on Friday, um, as well as I've also got something. Oh, I'll come Friday or Saturday, by the way. I've also got something really cool coming out on the Tuesday, which is not a review, but I am normally twenty twenty two cent. I currently have in my possession. It's not been reviewed. Is Republic Fighter Tank, but that will come within the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe.